What's up guys? Welcome back to Back Road Driver. We're the Miser Brothers. Today we're going to take our 96 Bronco and really get this build started. Sam, what do we got right here? We got some new uh, modern looking LED tail lights and uh, also a uh, third brake light up here. We're going to change them out and give the Bronco a little pizzazz. If you watch this whole series, this whole playlist on this build, you're gonna see everything we're doing. We'll get up to the front of the vehicle in just a day or two and do the front headlights, the grill. But we're gonna really make this thing look awesome and we're getting it ready to go climb off-road at the same time. Let's get into it. All right, go for it, Sam. One of the reasons you buy a Bronco instead of just an F-150 with a camper shell is you've got the roll down back glass, pop it open. It's all the way through the cabin, which is really awesome. This top will come off eventually for us, and a lot of people do take them off. That's a really neat thing to do. You do have a back seat, and I do haul kids in this thing. That seat will come out, and then you kind of got an ultimate off-road vehicle. The wheelbase on a Bronco is way shorter than the truck from the same era and everything, so it makes it pretty good off-road. Stance is a little wide on these, but uh, the short wheelbase does help quite a bit. Yep, we won't be putting a paint job or a fancy wrap on this thing, at least not for a long time, because as soon as you do that, it does make it a little more difficult to go through trails, at least where we're from in Tennessee, where you're going to scratch down the sides, and it's, it's trees all over the trails here. These lights are very oxidized. I mean, there's really, I mean, you could really, really just shine and shine and shine on them, but I don't think you'd ever get them to come back. What we're putting in here looks awesome. They actually have a little bit of the look of the new Bronco lights. So they're smoked lens. You've got this LED strip, which we're gonna see them light up here in just a second. And then you've got some other LEDs down in here. You'll have a really bright LED bulb for backup light. We had to get that separate. We are gonna give you all the parts in the description so that you'll know where to get all this stuff if it's something you wanna do on your OBS. I think, what'd you do, four screws? So yeah, we just removed two screws on the outside and you've got two screws on the inside. Boom, boom. The shorter ones were on the inside. Don't forget that when you go to put it back together. But uh, that's all it takes to get these old tail lights out. These are caked in dirt. From all the years of use and abuse, these are pretty nasty. That bowl got smoked. It's almost not working. But uh, yeah, that's not real pretty. So the lights we're putting in gonna sit like this but all this is LED now and so we need this uh, controller for that I'm gonna pull this bulb and this is gonna plug in but you've got to mount this somewhere with some double-sided tape so what you need to do guys is come right here and clean this area up you probably want to clean all this up while you're in here because you can't really get to it with the light on just wipe all this down make it a nice spot that's clean and mount this before you put it in this bulb you're going to reuse but you don't want to reuse some old incandescent bulb we actually have some led lights that we're going to uh, swap out um, just pull these right out well that's old we have to pull this out with pliers because that stayed in there you tell me it's old clapped out that. bulb yeah but uh, this will plug right in right here then everything looks modern, clean. That's a cool looking bulb. But like I said, we will put all the parts and part numbers and everything in the description. So we're gonna mount this module right here. We cleaned this off a spot. This was nasty in here. Sam actually found sand, a rock, a few other things down in the body. So it had to come through the hole. Uh, the rock had to come through one of those holes. Here. Yeah, it's been in some water before, <laughs> we'll say that. Let's mount this thing about as far forward as we can and about as low as you can, I believe, is the magic trick. Because that light, the offset part of the light's got to fit in there. So now, we'll pull out this old bulb. And we'll put these back together. We're just not even going to test this. We're going to plug it all up and then fire it up, right? No, we're going to test everything. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we got that in. 
Now we got this bottom one. This is your reverse light. So like I said, you want to get some of the brightest ones you can. This is the brightest ones I could find. They're 1700 lumens. So uh, put the bulb back in, put this in here. Sealed back up. Fits. It fits like a glove. We'll put our screws back in. Let's test it before we uh, put any screws back in. Hold it. Fire it up. Oh, yeah. Lights are on. Hit the brakes. Oh, yeah. And then uh, reverse light. So let's go left hand turn signal. Yep, blinking. We'll have to start it up to do the reverse lights. Yeah, that is lit. Screws are nasty. They are. Let's say we'll end up with some new ones. Not today. Don't want to over tighten and break your new light. I would highly recommend that you use a screwdriver, especially there at the end. So the look, just when everything's off, you got pretty much all black over here with a little bit of interesting detail. It's kind of hiding over here stock oxidized red and red doesn't look bad that's pretty cool looking but let's go ahead and turn the car over all right so this bulb barely lights up but you can tell it glows and over here on the new set that is a nice looking row of leds and then let's throw some brake light the blinker's cool it lights up the strip yep hit the brake light I'm going to compare that to the other side. Brake light. All right, throw me a blinker on the right. That's OBS as it gets. Blinker over here. That is cool. All right, Sam, go ahead and hit the reverse light. Boom. The amount of light. That ain't bad, it's foggy. That is popping. You, know, you, can't, you can't see it on camera, but it's freaking bright. While Sam throws that other side's tail light in, we do have an LED backup light as well. I'm gonna show you what the old clapped out oxidized light looks like. It pretty much matches the oxidation of the classic tail lights that were on there the originals um, guys go ahead if you like this build if you like uh, here's the wolf we just uh, did a race with a Shelby f-150 uh, check that video out I'll put a card right here and then we'll put we'll put it down in the description as well if you want to see that but we have other builds we've got Mustangs as well we've got big plans for this Bronco not just cosmetic but we are doing a gear swap and adding a limited slip diff or air lockers and all that's still up in the air and we're still working through parts on that but this thing's going to get a complete build and we're not just building it to show we're not building it just to have in the garage we're building it to take it off-road we're just about 30 minutes from Windrock off-road park and about another 30 minutes the other direction from the Great Smoky Mountains. So you'll see this thing after the bill gets done, do a lot of off-roading. So go ahead and subscribe to the channel, give this video a thumbs up, make sure you turn on that notification bell. So what we figured out is on the passenger side, you can't mount this right here. It's gonna hit the other side and had more room. We're gonna take, put the, some tape right here, and put it up in here. Um, up out of the way but uh, yeah just uh, know that the driver's side you're good to go over there but this passenger side you're gonna need to mount this up in here a little bit hopefully this one doesn't have water in it like the other did that's about six or seven foot off the ground mm, not bad cleaner.
Lock cleaner. There we go. Old light. Not awesome anymore. Even where the screws go in, it was cracked right there. So this does come with a gasket to seal this light. Make sure you don't get water and moisture in there. Um, you're not going to be able to put this on your vehicle because these holes don't actually line up to the holes on the vehicle. They line up to uh, holes on the unit itself. So you're going to want to slide it over, line this thing up here on the bench. That way when you go to screw this in, you get a nice seal and the screws are actually going to come out right in here somewhere so they'll penetrate this seal and suck down pretty good, give you, keep you watertight and everything. Okay, so we're going to plug it back in. Tuck our wires. Using the same, reuse the same screws. And again, I'm tightening this back up with a screwdriver. I'm already hearing plastic starting to creak a little bit. And I will say this does make a lot of noise. So, um, easy does it. Easy does it. I could, I mean, I'm not putting a ton of pressure. That seems pretty good. I think that's about as sealed as that's gonna get. So we got both brake lights in. I think it's a huge improvement. I think this looks a little bit like the new Broncos, which we've got coming hopefully in a month or two or three. We haven't got our email yet on confirmed build date. And then the backup light is pretty slick as well. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and give you a sneak peek on the headlights here in just a second. But the theme on this is that everything smoked um, and then some of these lights are trimmed in a gloss black. And we're gonna have a ton more black on this thing and it's gonna be a really slick looking build. We're gonna give you a little sneak peek. I've been working on this, uh, the front end, working on these lights. Let's go ahead and show them what we're doing. So this is your factory housing, and then you got three separate pieces. One is still in the vehicle, and then this is your new section. And this will be the next Bronco build video, but it's all built into one piece. And the trim here is gloss black. The trim, what looks like a separate piece here, ends up being all the same piece. I mean, this is slick, guys. We've got all the full bolts for this too. So check the playlist out on this build and you can see these go on and some of the other things get painted. See the whole build. Thanks for watching guys. We'll catch you in the next one. Peace. Peace.